Hello, dear role players. Are you tired of character AI's filters, short replies, or just plain boring conversations? Well, today I'm going to show you how to connect one of the best LLMs in the world, DeepSeek, directly to Risu.ai. Risu is a clean, RP-focused front-end that supports multiple LLMs, has zero filters, and was made with role players in mind. And here's the exciting part. DeepSeek R2 is coming very soon. It could drop in a few weeks or even tomorrow. As soon as it's out, I'll make a full video guide. So keep an eye out. But until then, we'll stick with DeepSeek V324, which still works amazingly well for roleplay. Let's get started. First, open a new tab and head over to shoots.ai. If you don't have an account yet, click on Create Account. Type in any username you want, and then press Create My Account. After that, Shoots will give you something called a fingerprint. Copy that and save it somewhere safe. Then just click Continue to Shoots. You should now be on the main dashboard. Find DeepSeek V324. It's usually the first model on the list. Click on it and then press API. We'll need that info soon. Now open a new tab and go to Google and search for Risu.ai. Click on the official link and once you're there, Press Get Started. Choose the first option, Web. After it loads, you'll be asked to choose a language. I'll go with English. Risu will guide you through a quick setup. Enter a nickname, click on I will set up, and you're in. When you first land inside Risu.ai, press here to open the side menu, then click the gear icon for options. A drop-down appears on the left. Select Account and Files. You'll see a login box. Click it. Press here to create a new account, type any user ID you like, add a password, and confirm. That's it. Your Risu account is now fully set up. Click the X in the top corner to close the panel, and we're ready to move on. Now, look in the top left corner. You'll see an icon with three lines. That's the menu button. Click it, and some new icons will appear below. Click the gear icon. That's your settings panel it will open up the chatbot settings. And this is where we'll connect DeepSeek. Find the first box that shows your current model name and click it. A dropdown will open with lots of model options. Just choose Custom API. Now we need to enter some information from Shoots. First, for the URL, go back to Shoots and copy this line. HTTPS LLM.Shoots AI V1 Chat Completions Paste it directly into Risu's URL field. Next, for request model, return to Shoots and copy this model name, DeepSeek AI slash DeepSeek V3234. Then paste that into the matching box in Risu. Now, for the API key, go back to Shoots.ai again and return to home page. Click API in the top menu and press Create API key. Copy that key save it somewhere safe, and then paste it into the key password field on Risu. Scroll down a bit and check the box called Response Streaming. That'll make replies show up as the model types, much smoother. Next, head to the Parameters section. Press here. You'll see a field called Max Context Size. Here, type in either 64,000 or 128,000. I'll use 64K for this setup. Below that is max response size. That controls how long the bot's reply will be. Totally up to you. I like mine at around 400 for tight, clean RP. Finally, you'll see the temperature slider. Set it between 0.7 and 0.9. Higher values give more creative, chaotic responses. Lower values are more controlled and stable. Now, I'm sure some of you are wondering, what is this auxiliary model setting. Well, auxiliary models are mainly used for image generation. Since this channel is all about role play, we're not going to mess with that today. But if you really want to use it, here's the quick version. You can connect free Mistral LLMs via open router, and that's probably the easiest way to get it running. Still, you don't need it, and it won't affect your role play at all. So feel free to leave it empty or whatever is selected. Now, let's talk personas. To create or edit a persona, press here to enter the persona menu. Once you're in, just write whatever you want to be. 
that includes personality, behavior, tone, whatever fits your RP. If you want to create more personas, press here. You'll get two options, create from scratch or import character. Choose whichever fits you. If you have a PNG file of a character, use import. If not, just go with create from scratch. Now let's talk about character import. There are a bunch of ways to do this, but I'll show you the fastest one and explain another. First, press X here to return to the home page. Once you're back, look to the left side. You'll see a little plus icon. Click it. You'll now see four different options. One, choose from Rishu Realm. This is the easiest method. Press here and it will show you pre-made characters from Risu.ai. To import one, just pick a character and press chat. It'll automatically download and load it in. Two, import character. This one's also super easy. Go to chub.ai, find a character you like, and open their profile page. Then press download PNG. Return to Risu and upload that PNG in the import character option. Done. Instant import. Three, create group chats. Yup. Risu.ai supports group chats, just like Chubb. Here's how it works. First, import characters from Risu Realm or Chubb, as we just covered. Then, press on Create Group Chat. At first, it might look like nothing's happening. Don't worry. Just go to the tab up top that says Character. Here, you can name the group and add characters. Press on this plus icon, and it'll show you all the characters you've imported so far. This is where it gets interesting. Each character has a talkativeness slider, so you can make some talk more and others talk less. Next to each one, there's a checkbox for active. If you don't want a certain character in the conversation, just uncheck that box and boom, they're out of the scene. And that's it. Stay tuned for more tutorials, free LLM setups, and character AI alternatives. Make sure to like the video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. See you in the next video. And as always, happy role-playing.